Welcome back. For over five decades, Tucson Youth Development has been serving Pima County's kids and young adults to help them reach their goals. And each year they name a Youth of the Year, and this time it's someone from the Kega 9 and CW Tucson family. Here with more is Head of MIS and Program Coordinator Amber Warren and the Youth of the Year 2017, Jillian Jillian Pergandy, thank you both so much for joining us. Thank, thank you for having us. Pleasure thank to you. see you. Nice, nicely done there in unison. I like that. <laughs> it's like you planned it. So let's talk about Tucson Youth Development, really what your mission is. Yeah, so Tucson Youth Development is a nonprofit organization. Um, we're focused in doing work experience programs, helping Tucson youth gain, um, gain experience and gain work. And we also have two alternative high schools that we work with kids. Excellent. A lot of different opportunities for kids mm -hmm. to really be able to get ahead and, and get some career experience for yeah. example and how long have you been doing the youth of the year so the youth of the year started in 2014 and it's basically an award that's designed to recognize the incredible accomplishments the TYD youth are making throughout the year um, any TYD staff can nominate the youth so we get a wide range from our two high schools and the many work experience programs um, it's also a great opportunity to share with the community the progress these youth are making towards their future so it really gives an opportunity for them to reach out and do com more community engagement with us. Um, we hope that it can lead towards inspiring other youth as well. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. And it's such an opportunity for them and, and it recognizes such outstanding youth, you know, that are given these different types of, mm -hmm. like I said, opportunities. And we were just seeing there on the screen, uh, for example, the nominee from 2014. And, mm -hmm. and there are some other ones that you can maybe tell us a little bit about uh, the past youth. Yeah, so the nominations we received this year were amazing. And in the past, they were amazing too. Um, and we received a lot of nominations who are youth who are facing struggles with uh, homelessness and they're trying to graduate high school and college, youth who are working hard to support themselves and their families, um, working towards creating a mindset towards being a leader or a community builder, and overall just a dedication to create a better life for themselves and for others. High bar to meet and the fact is there were many nominees this year uh, who were very competitive and of course Jillian was the one that sort of surfaced to the top and, and we'll get to your story in just a <laughs> bit but what what set Jillian apart from the other nominees? Yeah so we opened up our vote for about two weeks to the public and Jillian was ultimately the uh, nominated youth for the award and I placed her to work at Scripps Media last year mm -hmm. through our TYD logistics internship and I pulled her from a career and technical education class where she was recommended to me. So I expected she would be a good intern, but mm -hmm. she went above and beyond my expectations. She yes, shortly after starting, um, her supervisors were telling me that they wanted to hire her. Yeah. Um, and she has now graduated from high school mm -hmm. and is still working at Scripps as a production specialist now. And she's just done incredible. What's amazing is she is the only working source of income for her and her mother, really? who she has been a primary caretaker for since she was a little girl. So despite life's hardships, she's developed an incredible work ethic and has done this at her first job. Yeah, and this is my very <laughs> first job. It's kind of a strange one to have at first. You know, I thought I'd end up at McDonald's or something like that, and I ended up here at K-Gun. Well, it's because of your talent, and I mean, to say that she's going above and beyond, that's an understatement. I mean, you are such an essential part of the K-Gun 9 and CW team. I mean, every day you do such great work for the newscasts, <laughs> and, and it's really impressive what you do. So tell us about your experience with Tucson Youth Development. Well, it started with a film class in high school, and I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted my life to go in. I was trying to decide what career mm -hmm. to go with and Amber came to me and offered me to work at a news station and I thought that would be a great start to kind of a film and TV kind of career and I really didn't have any worth work ethic or sense of direction and she and TYD really helped me find a path and helped me get my first job which I had no idea how to even where to start in the Absolutely. beginning. Absolutely, and I mean, to start so young too, the sky's the limit. You're just gonna keep growing and growing and growing. What do you see for yourself as, as the future in this industry? Well, currently I'm training my way up through the positions. So I started out as floor crew and I learned audio and now I'm learning how to direct. So my goal is kind of to end up directing here 
at Kagan and then go up from there. Absolutely. I mean, you're going to end up directing here, then you're going to move up markets. I mean, you'll end mm -hmm. up in New York before you know it, <laughs> directing this huge show, probably a national show. I could definitely see it. It's very impressive what you've accomplished. And Amber, thank you so much for, for highlighting uh, Jillian and all the, the rest of the youth. Very and easy. <laughs> really quick before we let you go, it is easy. How can someone get involved with Tucson Youth Development if they want to? Yeah, so they can contact us directly. We're located at 1901 North Stone Avenue. Um, they can also call us. We have a uh, website that they can look into and more information and we have many social media <coughs> pages that have a lot of information. Excellent. Too. Easy to get a hold of you guys these yes. days. There's so many things on the internet that yes. you can contact with. <laughs> Jillian, congratulations again. Thank you. It's great to have you in our family and uh, thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you. Of course. Now, Tucson Youth Development is open to the public Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And to learn more, visit TucsonYouth.org or call 520-623-5843.